Hank here for Free Podcast Tools, and this time we're going to add webcams to the Rodecaster video. I like using DSLR cameras for the purpose of recording videos and live streaming. Those would come in the Rodecaster video via HDMI, of course, so you could have up to four of them. I have two. So if I wanted to add to that even further, I'd add a USB webcam or two to the Rodecaster video's ports number four and five. While webcams don't really give you the image quality that you would like for on-camera viewing, in most cases, especially if you're going to buy a $1,200 video switcher and audio interface. However, you could use that fifth and sixth webcam shot for something as simple as a product shot. Webcams can be hard to dial in with the look and quality of them, but for product shots, I think they work just fine. One thing I've been on the lookout for that thankfully didn't happen automatically in this video is a lot of webcams have built-in microphones, and I thought the Rodecaster video would sense that because the Rodecaster video picks up audio from my DSLR cameras, so I have to go into the settings and I have to turn that down. It's as simple as diving into the audio settings, using the rotary encoder to get to the channel that you're looking for. And then if you had an issue with it, like I was with my HDMI one, I just turned the volume all the way down. I could push the encoder in and then I can bring up the volume if I wanted to. However, when I checked that with this particular webcam that I'm using, there was no audio signal coming in, so I didn't have to adjust the volume. It's just something to be on the lookout for if you get some phantom noise coming in on the webcam you choose. I bought two webcams, but one of them came broken out of the box and wouldn't work. However, I plugged in the webcam that I do have into both ports. It worked just fine. So you could obviously add two webcams plus your four HDMI video sources, bringing you to a total of six video inputs, which is quite awesome. In a tiny home office like I have, there's really no need for six video inputs. Unless I was gaming and live streaming, then I'd probably go up to four. However, the option is there if you need it. So at Free Podcast Tools, I'm going to continue to deep dive into the settings and setups possible with the Roadcaster video. Adding webcams is just another element to this outstanding device. Depending on when you're watching this, links are in the comments. And if you use my affiliate link, I get a small portion with no extra cost to you. As always, thank you.